sorry, I'm not. I'm Bastion. I'm Bailey. And I'm Mike. <laughs> and we are on Ubi. One of the parts that I like about the boat is um my huge bed. And uh, sometimes I like sleeping outside in the cockpit because it's nice and fresh sometimes at night. My favorite part about the boat is definitely the spinnaker halyard because we can swing around on it. A couple things I like about the boat are uh, wakeboarding and foiling because I like the water activities. Comme je pourrais dire kiteboarding and surfing? Oui, ou alors vous dites les différents endroits que tu as vu ou euh... kiteboarding and going to the baths. Baths, 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 baths. Oh no, but they'll just think we went in baths. <laughs> I really like kite surfing. <laughs> During this trip on Ubi, I loved finding friends and able to voyage with them, able to find new places and able to move from the places. A few reasons why we bought this boat. Uh, one is definitely how roomy it is and how bright it is. Uh, another thing is how safe this boat is. It is renowned uh, to be able to go in any ocean and it's been very nice to be able to trust this boat in any condition. Um, another good thing about this boat is uh, with the shallow draft, we can go uh, pretty much anywhere and uh, also follow our uh, friends on, uh, on cats uh, in uh, shallow areas. We bought the boat in Martinique and then we sailed in the Caribbean all the way to Florida. Once in Florida, we took the boat all the way to Portland, Oregon, where we lived before leaving. Then we visited a little bit of Canada. We went back down, went to San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego. Then we went to the Sea of Cortez in Mexico. Then, once we had enough of that, we went for a 25 day long passage to the Marquises. Once uh, that was done, then we went to Tahiti and it has we've been living here for two years now and it has been very nice to be here with all of the kid boats. So this trip was for us uh, uh, the, the dream that we had for a long time um, and uh, part of our search for a boat was to find a small enough boat that would still have enough cabins for us to uh, us five to live in it but uh, and also a boat that is uh, sturdy um, blue water and safe uh, for a family this was our first boat so we want something uh, really uh, bulletproof so when we decided to go with an ovni an aluminum boat uh, we were happy with all those criteria. Uh, it was small enough, but nicely built, nicely architected. We have lots of room, lots of storage, and it's really built for uh, blue water, um, ocean passage, uh, but also to be very comfortable, you know, at, a, at an anchorage like this. <clears throat> we have room to spread. We have uh, all the space in the cockpit, inside, outside, on the deck, on the roof. Uh, and then the, the garden is, uh, is a huge, uh, huge place for the kids uh, or for us uh, to go swim and explore. With the retractable keel, we can go and anchor in a very shallow area and therefore be either close to the beach or close to um, reefs. And um, this gives us a lot of space uh, for us to, uh, to explore. To, uh, to be free. Um, the 600 watts of uh, solar gives us uh, the, the energy for uh, all the electronics, all the navigation electronics, and, and also uh, for the um, water maker and, uh, and all the, the electric needs that we have. And except for the propane that we're using for cooking, we are um, and the diesel for the uh, big engine, of course. Uh, then we only rely on the uh, solar panels. So therefore, we don't have a generator. We never had the need for a generator. And uh, typically in the morning, we wake up and the batteries uh, are depleted to like minus 30 amps. 
um, in a few uh, in, in, a, in an hour or two with a nice sun like this we are completely full and from there uh, all the extra energy we can use to uh, uh, recharge our computers uh, laptops or to make water we typically um, turn the water maker on uh, around 9 or 10 and then do a couple of hours of water and then from there we keep the uh, tanks uh, full and um, and then all the extra energy is uh, is for free there we uh, can also uh, heat the water uh, through our inverters and um, this gives us way enough energy in um, 2000 20, I think in 2020 we decided to upgrade the batteries so we have a large battery bank of so about uh, of, uh, more than 600 uh, uh, amp hours and with this we have lots of uh, extra uh, capacity um, so this is only important when we go into passage and when uh, we rely on the autopilot to do uh, the steering for us um, and this will consume a bit more energy so after the vote uh, here are two double cabins um, like in most of the boat uh, there's a lot of uh, headroom I'm one I'm 510 um, here is the uh, EPRO so here's a big double berth uh, and it has uh, USB ports like in all the cabins um, lots of uh, natural light and uh, three uh, hatches that open here here and down there for a good ventilation and there's quite a bit of storage room here too for clothes books and toys and also under the beds so this is one cabin that you where you have a door for privacy and another cabin here where two other kids uh, sleep and here very similar but you have uh, two uh, different beds here okay so the engine is here uh, easily accessible we can access it from the top this moves away and there are also both uh, accesses from the side so you can access it easily you also have storage we put our tools here some of our tools here Okay, so here's the engine. It's a Volvo D255. Um, what is new with the um, engine? Uh, we changed the alternator. We installed a marine grade isolated uh, 60 amp alternator. We have a spare one in case, just in case, but it's not installed. Uh, we revised uh, the raw water pump. We changed it recently. And also uh, the injection pump. Uh, got revised uh, a couple months ago completely here's the app head uh, we have a holding tank here manual pump uh, hot and cold water it's also shower um, and also a red light for night passages here and ventilation as usual Here is our um, chart table with more storage here and uh, more drawers here. Um, when we bought the boat back in 2017, we refitted all the electronics. So we added uh, a new VHF, uh, new satellite phone in here, uh, more new stuff we'll talk about later, uh, new radio, FM, USB, etc. Uh, we also have a 110 and a 220 volt inverters. Uh, and uh, that's all the um, electrical uh, wires that you can see here and that are easily accessible. So here's the galley. It's linear and it's offset of the saloon like that when people are sitting down we're not bothering them we each have our space um, we can lean here for passage and we can hold on here so it's very stable on passage also during night passage there is a red light here so that it doesn't bother our uh, eyesight 
So here's the double sink with the faucet for the salt water, for the fresh water, um, hot and cold, and the soap. Quite a bit of storage room everywhere. So you have here for uh, cups and plates, and then much more storage room, uh, a little bit everywhere, and a deep one here for pans, etc. And um, drawers here. We have the oven here, which has a uh, two burner stove and it's gimbaled. The fridge and um, this galley is, uh, as the rest of the boat, uh, very bright with a lot of natural light, as you can see, and then gets ventilated easily uh, because of the hatches here when coming from uh, the uh, uh, four cabin and another hatch here. Also, uh, more LED lights that we installed uh, back in 2017-2018. So here is the four cabin. It's uh, where we sleep, Mike and I. Um, what I really like about it is that it's very comfortable, uh, even at sea, because it's not at the very front of the boat, uh, but close to the mast. That's uh, uh, the pole for the mast, so that's nice. Uh, here we have, uh, you can see a lot of uh, brightness um, due to the big hatch and it's also, it also provides a good ventilation. Um, if we both want to have wind, uh, we have uh, this that we can open and then we both have wind for the evening which is very nice. And we can close it for privacy. Uh, we also installed USB ports over there and that's in every cabin for fan or uh, charging your phone. Uh, this uh, cabin has a lot of storage room for our books here, uh, but also under here there is a huge space for uh, storing uh, with the water maker and the controls for the water maker are here. Uh, storage, there's also cupboards here, uh, drawers, cupboards, we can sit here and then more storage room for instruments and more books. Let's go into the front uh, bathroom. So, toilet, this is manual. We've never used them. Uh, we can sit here. There's a shower. It's a very big uh, space for shower and with the big hatch, uh, you have lots of uh, ventilation, which is good. Let me put that back. Lots of storage room here. And on the other side. Okay, and then in front is for the sails. So there's the spinnaker and the stone jib that's that are there. And then you also have plenty of room for all your toys, cushions and all that. Here we put our cat gear, some of our cat gear. The windlass motor is here too. Uh, so it's protected from the elements. So talking about the windlass. Here is the remote control for the windlass, the wired one. Oh no, that's not the re remote control, the wired one. And here we also have the remote control one. So you just go up there, on deck, wherever you want, up and down, that's for the anchor. Here's the, uh, the transom with the swimming step. Um, it's a large area where we can uh, step in and out of the dinghy with uh, using those ropes that we added. Uh, also come in and out of the water through the, the swim ladder. Um, and I have a lot of gear to uh, sit down, uh, put your uh, swim gear, uh, a lot of room to do all that. Uh, still be shaded and, uh, and protected inside the boat. Um, we also attach our dinghy here through those lines, uh, but you can use um, the cleat that is here. Um, 
the uh, swim step has uh, two big lockers that are uh, separate from the boat and here are the propane tanks and uh, electronic to uh, uh, to shut off the, the the gas from the inside we also have a shower with hot and cold water so that you can do uh, all your uh, swimming rinsing and everything from here um, the arch has uh, the supports the solar panels uh, we have two times 300 watts of solar here and that's all we use for our boat uh, all included um, the wires goes through the tube and inside the uh, the boat so everything is enclosed and well protected same as the antennas uh, the horn and all those things the arch also helps to bring the dinghy up through davits um, and we typically store the outboard on uh, this wooden structure here so still on the transom um, you can see here the, the, the locker for the swim gear this is the life raft that we have uh, you can remove this piece of teak and then get access to the life raft and then you're uh, safe in the water uh, and here's the other uh, locker for the uh, uh, propane we also have a roll for uh, the back anchor so you can easily uh, put the, the uh, anchor uh, up and down from here okay so from the swim step we can easily access the cockpit um, and we're gonna start here with the um, uh, the helm the helm is um, at the back of the boat with this uh, seat that is a bit elevated so that you can have a nice view uh, all the way across the boat uh, and uh, to the horizon um, the cockpit is laid out with teak that we redone recently um, you have access here to the uh, rudder stock and all the, um, uh, the steering equipment so it's uh, easy access uh, last uh, haul out in 2020 we redid all the bearings for the steering column we added drag link uh, and we serviced the uh, autopilot um, so you're good to go there um, and from here right uh, you're uh, nicely protected from uh, the conditions and you have also access to all the information with the instruments we've redone the electronics in 2017-18 uh, and with the exception of the autopilot that was already good we uh, all the electronics is new from then the chart plotter we opted for a model that is not touch screen so that we can use it in all weather whether it's uh, sunny or wet uh, it's uh, always working so at the helm you have also access to a large storage area uh, on port on port and starboard uh, those goes go uh, all the way uh, down to the to the hull so they are really deep really large uh, when we did our ocean ocean passage we had uh, one outboard there lots of fuel fruits vegetables and on the other side we have uh, the hydraulic control for the rudder and um, uh, the keel uh, the autopilot pump and uh, lots of ropes the spare anchor and so on so there's a lot of storage down there so here's a view inside the starboard locker So here we have the uh, hydraulic pump for the keel and the rudder, manual bilge pump, and then the autopilot. And then and we can see here there's a lot of storage. This locker is really deep, goes all the way down to the hull. We have the extra uh, anchor there and also the um, emergency tiller and lots of ropes. So moving on, uh, here's the rest of the cockpit. Um, it's a large cockpit with new teak. Um, the boat is rated for uh, up to 12 people on coastal areas. Um, it's wide enough and we have cushions for all the sessions so we can be comfortable on it and even sleep on it. The large bimini over the cockpit gives us a lot of shade, but when needed, you can also open it up easily and uh, have access to, uh, to the sun so we have a lot of uh, possibilities with the dodger the bimini and even the uh, act part of the bimini uh, we can put it up or down uh, depending on uh, what you need mm -hmm.
and uh, I've laid out the cushions and uh, lifted the table so we're ready to have a meal or enjoy a drink with friends. And of course then you have the all 360 view of the Paradise Rain. When you uh, do need to go out uh, of the cockpit during a passage, we have uh, jack lines with lots of feathers that you can use to go and clip on and go on the deck. We have large handrails here that are bolted to the structure, to the roof. At the mast, you can um, safely uh, handle your mast operation uh, in the pulpit. And then here you have access to uh, more uh, ropes, uh, the jack lines, with the uh, spinnaker pole, um, and other. We also store our um, fenders here and some more diesel, but uh, those can go also into the front locker where we have the chain and the anchor. So for the uh, chain locker, it's right here in the front. It's fairly large. Here we store 75 meters of 10, nanometer, uh, 10 uh, millimeter chain uh, from 2017. We have multiple uh, chain hooks. And uh, over there, maybe you can see the 25 kilo uh, anchor. Those are uh, lifted through the windlass. Uh, it's a windlass from 2017 uh, from Lefranc. And the inside of the locker uh, has large plastic panels that are protecting the aluminum from the steel of the chain. In the front, we also have large cleats and um, two furthers for the head sail and from the for the stay sail. I know you're somewhere out there, somewhere far away. I